After seven long years of being one of Disney's most successful sitcoms, it appears that Bunked, the spinoff of Jesse, has finally been put to rest. Or will be at least. That's right, season 7 will be the final season of the series, and so since no one else wants to talk about this apparently, I thought I would tap in and share my thoughts about what I think this means for not only the show, but the current state of Disney Channel as a whole moving forward. For those unfamiliar with the history of the show Bunked and why the announcement of its ending is such a big deal, let me break down the entire history. The show originally started off as a spin-off series of the hit Disney Channel show Jesse, where the Ross kids, minus Luke because of the actor's commitment to Gamer's Guide to pretty much anything, go to a summer camp in Maine called Camp Kikiwaka. I always hated that name. Along the way, they meet new characters like Xander, Jorge, Tiffany, and Miranda May's character, Lou Hawkhouse. As the show went on, more and more characters kept getting introduced. Season 3, for instance, got rid of a bunch of the other campers and replaced them with new ones like Destiny, Mateo, and Finn. I've never heard of any of these characters until now. The Ross kids actually ended up being counselors themselves in that season, since that's realistically the only way you could have kept them in the show. I mean, Peyton List was like, what, 19 in season 3? No way she should still be going to camp. For Disney Channel standards at the time, the show was putting up pretty decent numbers, but with the cast starting to obviously get older, obviously it couldn't run forever. In an interview, Sky Jackson confirmed that after they wrapped up filming the final episode of season 3, she would be leaving Disney and the show would come to an end. This is my last week on Disney, so Monday and Tuesday will be our last filming day, and then the series is over. In like three weeks, I'll be going on to my Fox pilot called Our People. Yeah, so I tried to look up this Our People show that she was talking about, and I don't think it ever actually got made. <laughs> It's no secret that Sky Jackson, outside of one Lil Nas X music video, has been struggling a bit since leaving the network. She got cooked online recently because she asked her fans to send her $5 in order for them to win a laptop or something. That's what it's going towards. I do not need money. Me personally, I do not need money. Uh, her audition tape from a couple years ago got leaked where, again, she got cooked because apparently she just never outgrew the Disney Channel acting. Really? Ugh, sales rack Sally isn't even clever. If you're going to deface someone's locker, at least make it original. It's even worse than DIY Diane. And look, I don't have anything against Sky Jackson, obviously, because, well, I don't really care about Sky Jackson or what she does, but it is kind of funny. Anyway, yeah, Bunk seemingly was canceled. A season four was not in the works. But then, Disney Channel realized this show is actually still really popular. We gotta keep this going. And so they did. Season 4 was announced and the show was brought back to life. Back to reality. But this time with a whole new cast of characters. That is, besides Lou, played by Miranda May. She's been on the show the entire run. Good for her. Later, Ava King, played by Shelby Simmons, was introduced. We met Gwen, Noah, and Parker, and... I for real could be making up these names right now and y'all would just be nodding along like, yup. I know y'all have not seen any of the recent episodes of this show. Fast forward to now and the show is on its seventh season, which is a Disney Channel record. Every other show tapped out at four seasons max. The only other show to surpass that is actually Raven's Home, but I'm going to talk about that show a bit later in this video. A lot of people seem to be confused as to why this show got to last seven seasons while other certified cult classic bangers like Dog with a Blog and I Didn't Do It ended after only a few. And the answer is actually really simple. Are you ready? Punked is a popular show. Amongst the demographic at least. Not only does it air its new episodes on Disney Channel of course, but it's available to stream on Netflix, aka the biggest streaming service in the world, especially for kids content. When you look at a hit like Hannah Montana, do you think Disney wanted to end that show? No, of course not. It was probably generating a kajillion dollars for them. But Miley Cyrus got older and she aged out of the role, as did Cole and Dylan, as did Raven, and as did Ross and Laura. If there was a way to continue the show without them, they would have tried. I mean, you guys remember So Random, right? <laughs> you better, it's my most watched video. The opinion on Bunked varies depending on how old the person you're talking to is. A lot of the people who grew up with the show claim that they should have canceled it years ago and believe nobody watches it anymore. I, however, have a very different opinion on this. Bunked is actually kinda genius. No, not on a quality standpoint, of course not. 
it's your average Disney Channel slop. But the idea of Bunked is actually the ideal scenario for a successful children's series. Think about it. You have this show that takes place at a summer camp, right? What happens at a summer camp? The kids leave, new kids come in, sometimes old kids come back, whether as campers or counselors. And with that being the case, with an idea like that, you never have to worry about the characters getting older because you can just throw them away and hire a bunch of new ones. So now, suddenly the show becomes really popular, kids are eating kids are eating up anything and everything bunk related, you now have a hit on your hands that you never ever have to cancel due to the kids getting older. It's literally an unlimited money glitch. Bunked, theoretically, is a show that could have lasted forever. I don't care if the show is bad or used to be good. Prior to this video, I've never even attempted to watch it before because, well, it's not made for me. You know what the show is? It's Disney's version of all that, a show that lasted for like 10 years. And although the show obviously did end up falling off when the likes of Keenan, Kel, and Lori Bev Denberg left, the fact that it lasted 10 years showed that people were still watching it. So now that brings us to season seven of the show, AKA the final season. Now season seven actually already aired some episodes, but then production halted due to the writer strike. They had a few more episodes to shoot after that, but recently ordered 10 more, bringing the final episode count of the season to 22. Shout out Taylor Swift. So now, why exactly is Bunked ending now, after all of these years? Would it not have made sense to just keep bringing in new kids? Well, for starters, I don't think the writer strike happening helped at all. I mean, having a production stopped is never a good thing, as it creates all sorts of delays for not only your show specifically, but for the entire network and maybe even future job opportunities for the cast and crew. The article from Deadline also states that Disney has a creative team going that's main goal is to launch a new generation of live action shows on the network, with TV veteran Jenna Boyd already developing a slate of multi-cam comedies for the kiddos. It's clear that Disney might just be simply choosing to move on from the show because the new stuff they have coming in allows the network to not be so dependent on one single series. One thing is for sure though, it certainly is not a performance issue. According to Nielsen data, part one of the show's seventh season was summer 2023's second most watched live action series and top 10 series overall for kids aged 6 to 11 in combined viewing across streaming and linear platforms. Clearly, there is still an audience for this show, even if there are a bunch of people out there that'll try to claim otherwise. But all good, or perhaps mediocre things, must come to an end at some point, right? And it looks like this will be it for Buck. I would wish a farewell, but I don't really care. However, there is one aspect of Bunk's cancellation that I do care about. That being, it's greater importance to the overall Disney Channel shared universe. For those unaware, Bunked being a spinoff of Jesse puts it in the same universe as basically almost every other Disney Channel series known to man. But with this cancellation, that means that the fate of the entire Disney Earth Prime universe now officially relies in the hands of none other than Raven's Home. And that worries me, because as of the time I am writing this video, it hasn't been renewed yet for another season. And so, if Raven's Home were to end, then that means the Disney Channel Prime Universe would cease to exist for the first time in 20 years. And ironically, the show that started it all was That's Little Raven. Yep, that's me. It's even scarier when you remember that because of Girl Meets World connection to Boy Meets World, that means that this universe expands to sitcoms from other networks like Full House, Family Matters, and even I Love Lucy. That means that since 1951, this universe has been consistently going strong. And so unless we get a new Disney series that ties into either Raven's Home or Bunked or any of the other shows in that universe, this universe will officially die. 73 years worth of movies and TV shows down the drain. Who knows, maybe someday down the line we'll receive that bunked revival series on Disney Plus so the universe can be kept alive. But until that fateful day, it appears that both the Disney Channel universe and bunked have seen their final days. So what I want to know is your thoughts of bunked getting canceled. How do you think the show will wrap up? If you 
even care? Let me know in the comments below. As always, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Mr. Nostalgia, and I'm out for now. Peace.